Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video where we will compare Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 and Plan 2. Let's get started. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is Microsoft's EDR tool. It is an enterprise endpoint security platform designed to help enterprise networks prevent, detect, investigate, and respond to advanced threats. Defender for Endpoint provides advanced threat protection. That includes antivirus, anti-malware, ransomware mitigation, and more, together with centralized management and reporting. It is available in two plans. First one is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 1, and, second one is the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2, formerly known as Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Plan 1, that comes with E3 license, supports Windows 10, iOS, Android OS, and Mac OS devices. Plan 2, that comes with E5 license, supports Windows, both client and server, and non-Windows platforms, that is, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and Linux. Let's understand the comparison on capabilities. Unified security tools and centralized management, that is, centralized configuration and management, with the Microsoft 365 Defender portal, and integration with Microsoft. Endpoint Manager, is available in both plans. Next generation protection, that includes industry-leading, robust anti-malware and antivirus protection, is available in both plans. Attack surface reduction capabilities, that harden devices, prevent zero-day attacks, and offer granular control over endpoint access and behaviors, is available in both plans. Device control removable storage protection that prevents users, endpoints, or both from using unauthorized removable storage media, is available in both plans. Firewall capabilities on all endpoints is also available in both plans. Network protection for a variety of platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android devices, is available in both plans. Web control and category-based URL backing is available in both plans. Device-based conditional access is also available in both plans. Integrations capabilities using API, SIEM connector or a custom threat Intel integration, is available in both plans. Application control, that is designed to protect devices against malware and other untrusted software. It prevents malicious code from running by ensuring that only approved code, that you know, can be run. This, is available in both plans as well. Next, the EDR capabilities that is, the endpoint detection and response capabilities, that helps detect, investigate, and respond to advanced threats, is available in Plan P2 only. Advanced hunting, part of EDR capability, that provides a query-based threat hunting tool that lets you proactively find breaches and create custom detections, is also available in Plan P2 only. Automated investigation and remediation, that provides automatic investigation and remediation capabilities, and help reduce the volume of alerts in minutes at scale, is available in Plan 2 only. Plan 2 also has an inbuilt capability of threat and vulnerability management, that provides risk-based approach to the discovery, prioritization, and remediation of endpoint. Vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Threat intelligence and using this intelligence for analytics and investigation, is also a feature only available in Plan 2. Plan 2 also provides sandbox deep analysis capabilities, that includes Microsoft Secure Score for devices to help dynamically assess the security state of your enterprise network, identify unprotected systems, and take recommended actions to improve the overall security of your organization. And lastly, Plan 2 also includes Microsoft's new managed threat hunting service provides proactive hunting, prioritization, and additional context and insights that further empower security operation centers, to identify and respond to threats quickly and accurately. To summarize, here is a diagram that showcases Plan 1 and Plan 2. Capabilities. Plan 2 includes the entire suite of EDR. All capabilities mentioned. Plan 1 includes only the ones highlighted in green. Plan 1 includes next-gen antivirus capabilities and attach surface reduction module only while other modules or capabilities comes with Plan 2. Customers looking for the complete set of endpoint security capabilities should strongly consider Microsoft Defender. For endpoint Plan 2, in simple words, P1 is a next-gen antivirus, and P2 is a EDR solution. P1 is included in E3 license, and P2 is included in E5 license. 
P2 is by far the best fit for enterprises that need an EDR solution including automated investigation and remediation tools, advanced threat prevention and threat and vulnerability management, and hunting capabilities. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. If you need copy of this presentation, please email us. Thank you and all the best.